my spiritual peeps. This is Tara with Kittens, Weights, and Tarot, and this is day 30, oh lordy, of Anthony's 31 Days of Tarot. And so today's prompt is, what is my favorite tarot card? Either the art, the meaning, or both. Okay, so the deck that I think has fabulous art, I mean, there are so many decks, it was actually really hard to choose just one, but for the sake of this very short video, I will choose one. So I narrowed it down to the Pagan Otherworlds. Um, and I just think all of the cards are just so beautiful. Look at that lushness, awesomeness, beauty. Um, but there is one card that stands out to me from this deck. Um, and it's a card that at first in my tarot journey um, frightened me uh, and I struggled with it. And now uh, it just seems like something clicked. And when I get it in a rating, I'm like, yeah. And that card is death. So yes, I love the death card. I love the meaning of the death card. It means to me, that a change is taking place, that um, things aren't stagnant anymore, that you have completed a cycle almost like the Ten of Swords. Um, so where, you know, something's come to an end, but this being a major arcana card, it's like, you know, it's a major change. You know, you have um, hit another, you know, level up. You've basically, like in a video game, you have leveled up and you are now moving on to the next level. And so, um, I think this is a fabulous representation, by the way, of death. And so um, when I was giving a reading to um, my basically my Chinese grandma slash spiritual guru, um, she pointed out because uh, I, I was, you know, giving the traditional meaning of death and all of that. And she said, oh, my gosh, that's me. She goes, that's me. She says, on my journey, she goes, and I am taking down evil and I am taking down negativity and I am, I am banishing all that is, that is harmful in the world and I am, I'm saving people. And I went, wow, that's a fabulous way of looking at it. And so to me now, when I look at it, it's like, look what you have shed, you know, look at all the, the, the things that you are leaving behind that no longer serve you. And now you have this skeleton and the skeleton is indeed the querent or myself or, you know, um, and it's just, you have stripped down to bare bones to where you don't need all of that baggage anymore. You have left that behind because you are transcending, you know, onto this, you know, next level that is just, you know, and you, and you couldn't have been at this next level had you not gone through the muck and had you not, you know, tread through the waters and learn those lessons. And so it is an honor, you know, to be this person. And so, you know, having this like, you know, sash flowing in the wind, just showing, you know, just, uh, you, you can be glamorous, but you can also be fierce at the same time, you know, hence the, the arrows for wings. And so I think this is just, this is just freaking awesome, <laughs> you know, just, uh, you know, basically kicking ass and taking names, you know, you have finished boyfriend or girlfriend and you are moving on. So to me, this is my favorite card. I love death. I love the change. I love moving on to, you know, something else like I'm done with this shit and I am moving on um, because, you know, I deserve it. You know, I, I have worked my ass off and I deserve to be at this next level. And so that's how I see death. And again, I think this is a beautiful representation. So not only do I love the meaning of the death card, but I love the art as well. So. I mean, there, there we go. That's my little mini rant. <laughs> let me know what you guys think. Um, and let me know what your favorite cards are. I'm definitely going to be watching everybody's videos, but if you're not posting, you know, videos, then definitely, um, let me know in the comments section below. Um, and let me know maybe how you feel about the death card, or maybe, um, you are also a big fan of the death card and maybe, you know, people look at you a little cockeyed, but you know, I think once, you know, it's, it's been explained, you know, it's not like I'm, super morbid and I'm like, yes, death. You know, I'm not like a, a Lydia type person from Beetlejuice. So, all right. I will catch you guys tomorrow for the final 
day, day 31, the 31st of Ethany's 31 Days of Tarot, and it has been so awesome. This is a great ride, um, and I will continue blogging and vlogging. <laughs> Um, you know, this is, this has really prompted me to want to continue things just like this. So let me know your thoughts on that. All right. I'll catch you homies later. Peace, love, and chicken grease. Peace out.